Hey, what's going on, guys? Day 41. I want to talk about today um, a pretty valuable skill, actually. Um, you could say it's a neuro linguistic programming trick, NLP. Or, um, but it, you know, Dale Carnegie. Dale Carnegie talks about in his book way before NLP becomes like really popular. In his book, How to Win and Influence People, um, what we're going to be talking about is mimicking and mirroring. Now, people who like each other tend to be like each other. Like, think about your group of friends for a second. You know, you all kind of act the same way. After a certain point, like maybe now at first when you first encounter or when you first met, but after a while you guys start using the same body language, you start using the same vocabulary, you start using the same posture, how high or low your voice are. And you know, one of the biggest examples of this is um, the difference between an American person and a European person. A lot of these different features are going to be completely different. You can tell automatically if an American were to walk into a restaurant that, like in the European area, out of country for on vacation because they're louder. You know, we as Americans just tend to have these loud voices and um, a lot louder than other cultures. That's one thing that we're known for. So you don't want to mimic people outright, especially with posture, because if somebody's kind of doing one of these things, you don't want to immediately go like you go like this, or else you're going to creep them out because the body language is going to be exactly the same. But if you have a couple seconds delay and you just do it, or if you mirror instead of mimic, so he's going on this side, then I'll go ahead and, and I'll be on the other side. It's just a couple second delay. They don't pick up on that. And the thing is, even if they are looking for that, for all they know, you're doing it naturally because we naturally will do this. It's kind of like a following and lead system too because after you have rapport with somebody and you are following their body language and if you were to change your body language into something a little bit different, they're going to follow you too naturally. We do this amazingly. It's just more about identifying exactly what it is. So there's some things that you might not even necessarily think about that you can mimic right away that are going to help you build rapport that much quicker. Now posture is one of the easiest ones because it's easy to consider this gesture or if someone's kind of like this, you know, even though this is a closed thing, you got to kind of follow, follow, follow lead. So if they're going to be in a kind of a closed out position, get in a little bit of a closed out position and then after a little bit, open up and then watch them open up. Something you probably didn't think about aside from just the vocabulary that we're using, because I told you about the certain vocabulary in a uh, video before about using the same kind of words. You know, some people are kinesthetic learners, some people are visual learners, and depending on the kind of words, you know, like, oh, that's clear as a bell, that's an auditory learner, versus something like, oh, I feel you, that's a kinesthetic. Those kind of languages, if you pick up on that, that's another way of being able to develop rapport like, instantly. But I'm not going to get into detail because I did talk about that in a previous video. I'll put a link up there. Um, so, yeah, tone of voice. Listen for their frequencies. Listen for the way they express their words. I'm sure you picked up on that before, you know? You're talking to people and um, you start getting that, I don't want to say accent, but you, you, <laughs> I don't know how to explain it. I don't have an example right now, but you get what I'm saying. The tone of voice, the pitch of the voice. And um, something that you might not necessarily have somebody else pick up on is their blink and breathing rate. So, if you're looking at somebody and you're communicating pretty efficiently, you're going to just follow their blink rate. You're just following how fast they're breathing. You know, if they're slow paced breathing, where are they breathing from? Their abdomen? Are they breathing from their chest? Just mimic that. Because it's virtually impossible to detect that unless they're literally watching for it. But if they're watching for that, then they're probably going to be doing the same shit anyways, which is just means they're going to be best buddies in the end anyways, right? Because you have similar interests, right? So, I could put more descriptions in um, under the video. That's all I can really think about right now to talk about. But tell you what, amazing tell, amazing stuff. Go out there and uh, there's a chipmunk. <laughs> Adorable. All right, I was gonna. Okay, you want to get that? All right, we'll see you guys later.